Hi guys, Alistair Taylor here down at Lytham Golf Academy and today we're going to take a look at the brand new tailor-made P750 irons. Okay then, so we've got the tailor-made P750 iron. So it's forged, we've got some tungsten down in the bottom, which again promoting getting the ball in the air, also keeping that weight around the perimeter of the club. We've got a kind of moderate top line, certainly not the thinnest on the market that I've seen. It's got a very compact head with very little offset. Just a very classic face. Just got the fitting head there. But all in all, a very, very good looking iron from TaylorMade. Okay guys, so we've had a good close up of the seven iron head. Just the fitting head, which is obviously why you can see the kind of numbers for line angles up the back. But everything else other than that, identical to what you would be buying. So we're going to hit six real balls. We've got TP5, tailor-made TP5 balls on GC Quad. Give you a bit of feedback on kind of looks and feel, performance of the P750. And if you're in the market for a better player's club, is this something that you should be testing and could possibly go in your bag? So like I said, six shots, got everything lined up, blowing a gale down here at Lytham Golf Academy today. But instantly when you look at the club behind the ball, very small, compact head, not a lot of offset on there, so it's really gonna appeal for the traditionalist. But we know there's a bit of technology in the back of the head, give us maybe a little bit of help with forgiveness. And I mean, it feels lovely and soft. I'd expect that it's forged. I know from this only being 34 degrees 7 iron that I'm not expecting this to be going that far. And I'm expecting it to probably launch a little bit higher than some of the products on the market. But I mean, first, first shot, very, very nice. And even though it's soft, for me, it feels strong off the face. You know, it feels like we're still gonna hit the ball a decent distance. Like I said, when we've got some seven irons on the marketplace at 28 and a half degrees, I'm expecting a big difference in distance. But I reckon if I can be kind of 155 carry for seven iron with this, be about right. Again, good. Definitely, I mean, very high, very high. Be interesting to see when we look at numbers, whether that's down to just launch angle being very high or whether kind of spin. I would expect quite a bit of spin with this iron just from the amount of loft on the club. Okay. But it definitely looks the part. And I mean, I'm only hitting this in seven iron, so I'd be interested to kind of Maybe three, four iron. I think Rory's having the, the longer irons in the bag of these. And even if Rory's needing that bit of forgiveness, I think I'd definitely need a little bit, well, a lot more than him. But last couple of shots. I mean, looks and feel-wise, it definitely ticks all the boxes for me. You know, I mean, from the back, it's a great looking golf club. When I put it down behind the ball, kind of looks I wouldn't say it looks exactly like a blade, maybe still a little thicker top line than, than I grew up looking at with blades I played as a kid, but really good looking iron. Feels nice, but having said that, I think there's loads of products on the market that looks good and feels good now. So let's look at some numbers and see how the TaylorMade P750 stacks up. Okay guys, so we look at ball speed. We've got an average ball speed of 113 mile an hour. So not as quick as some of the products I've seen, but with that difference in loft, we'd expect to see that. Average launch angle at 20 degrees. So again, they were very consistent, but certainly launching a little higher than, than I would normally expect my seven iron to launch at. Uh, average backspin at 7,700. Now that is high. Again, for me, it's high though because of the loft of the club. I think for me personally, I might have the loft bent slightly on that. Average height of 32 yards, so not massively high for its peak height, but certainly for me more backspin than I'll be looking for. And an average carry of 152, 
but again if we look down the six shots just very very close disbursement from front to back okay guys so we look at the figures and i mean distance wise pretty much what i'd expect from a 7n like i said probably a little bit too much spin for me which even though i know that shaft works pretty well for me maybe a different shaft would just reduce my spin a little bit give me a few more yards carry or like i said on the figures i actually might get those kind of tournament loft and maybe get a couple of degrees taken off which would reduce the spin, maybe give me a few more yards. But actually for how that sits, I think that performs nicely on just stock shots. I'm just gonna hit kind of a couple of low ones, little draws and fades. So yeah, very easy to keep it down. Again, there's not a lot of offset, I think 2.2 millimeters on this 7 iron. Let's hit a little draw, which won't be a tough one for me. Yeah, very easy to work the ball. Let's go a little cut. So yeah, I mean, all in all, TaylorMade P750. Are they gonna to appeal to everybody? Visually and looks wise, absolutely they're gonna to appeal to people because I think they look and feel fantastic. Performance wise, are they gonna be for everybody? Definitely not. You know, it's gonna be a very, very small number of guys that this club's gonna suit. And I can certainly see guys splitting sets, maybe between these and the P770s. Maybe a guy who wants a bit more forgiveness might have 770 in the longer irons. But if you're a better player looking for a new set of irons, this is definitely something you should be trying. A good addition to the range. Like I said, a lot of the tour players have already got this in their bag from when it was the prototype iron. But yeah, you should definitely, if you're looking for this type of iron, be trying the TaylorMade P750. As ever guys, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you've enjoyed it, like it, share it. Uh, please follow me on all the social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact. <laughs>